If you don't like and subscribe in the next five seconds, then this will be in your bed tonight. Like, you don't have to like and subscribe if you don't want to, but uh, seriously, I wouldn't chance it. Like, do you really want this thing in your bed? What up, boys? It's XC. Welcome back to the channel. So, call me Carson, right? He had that whole controversy just starting out 2021. I've made two videos on this subject, so I'll leave the links in the description if you guys want to go watch those first. But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, he had this whole controversy with this person named Sam and how she came out about him grooming her. And I mean, I'll just give a quick little summary on what my opinion is on the entire situation. I mean, if it wasn't a problem like a year ago when this all happened and when it all got resolved, then why is it a problem now? Like, I don't really understand why she would come out now about it. And I mean, we could all agree that two years is not a big difference. Like, the only legal thing was the exchange of CP. But I mean, as for the two-year age gap, we see that all the time in high school and we see it all the time in people married. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys have already heard of this entire situation and know everything about it, so I'm not really gonna go that in depth. So I mean, where has Carson been? I mean, he hasn't been active on any social medias aside from Spotify since January 5th. And I mean, if time off the internet is something that he truly needs, then that's justified, and that's something that is completely valid. But I find it kind of strange that we haven't heard from him whatsoever. I mean, we've seen that his Spotify is active, so we know he's alive and hopefully well. But as for any of his other social medias, I mean, for Twitter, he hasn't liked a post since January 5th. For YouTube, he hasn't posted in a while. But I mean, aside from listening to music, he has completely left the internet, it seems like. So I mean, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over why that probably is. And I mean, it's pretty damn obvious that around January 5th, the entire internet thought that he was some sort of child predator or child molester. And I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, guys. That's just not true. I mean, 17 to 19, it's not a big age gap. I mean, by 17, you should probably be knowing what you're doing with your life, right? And I just find it kind of weird because Sam, the person who exposed him, was 17, about to turn 18 at the time when they interacted. And I mean, by 17, you're already making adult decisions that will affect the rest of your life. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Here's the thing. If it was so bad, if she was getting quote-unquote groomed so badly to the point to where it was noticeable, why did she not block him? And I mean, same thing goes for Carson. If he knew that he was doing something bad, why did he not block her? And I think the definitive answer to that is that they're just two horny teenagers, right? You can't really get mad at them. And I mean, as for Carson, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he hasn't, you know, gotten, gotten an ounce of that coochie like that often in his life. And I mean, not to rag on him, but I mean, seriously, it doesn't seem like the type of person who would be pulling bitches left and right. And I mean, can we really blame him though? I mean, he was talking to a 17-year-old, like, they're about to be an adult. I mean, it's not like he was talking to a three-year-old or some shit. But yeah, I mean, this guy got hated by everybody on the internet for really no reason. Like, everybody was saying he was a pedophile when really this isn't even pedophile activity. He was literally just horny, and as a teenager, I mean, what can you expect? But I mean, after having a past of being depressed, it would make sense that he would leave the internet or, you know, just sort of take a break in order to not have those depressive thoughts. And I think another big thing that made Carson want to go off of the internet is really all of the missing information. Like, I'm sure the one big thing is all the hate that he was getting, but as for misinformation, that's also a very big problem. And I mean, just right off the bat, one big person that stands out to me who is committing the misinformation has got to be It's I, Jazzer. I mean, this guy has made not one, not two, not three, but- Wait, wait, wait. Actually, how many how many uh, videos has he made on Carson? Hold up one sec. All right, so I did the counting, and this guy made 20 whole-ass videos milking the Call Me Carson situation. All right, so I added up all the time that he put into those videos, and for just how long the videos are, he has already spent around 14 hours making videos on Call Me Carson. And of course, that doesn't include the time that it takes to make a script, to edit, to make a thumbnail. Like, all of those factors go into the time to make a video. That's just another reason why you should sub with post notifications on me because I really do put a lot of work into the but yeah, dude, it's pretty blatantly obvious that this guy has used a few days out of his life to milk the shit out of somebody's poor mental health, and that's just kind of screwed up if you ask me. And I mean, I definitely see where the appeal is, but I've definitely had to limit myself because, I mean, as of right now, it's my most viewed video on the channel. But I just knew deep down that it's just not okay to keep covering a situation like this that could, like, ruin lives. But I mean, to get back on track, it's I, Jazzer. His videos were filled with misinformation about, like, Jay Schlatt, Call Me Carson. Like, he was really just trying to get the views, and that just kind of it goes back to what I was saying, how it's screwed up, but luckily he hasn't posted in a month. Like, what happened, bro? Could you not find any more information to milk the Call Me Carson situation with? Like, I mean, I genuinely think that people like It's I Jazzer are the reason that Call Me Carson has not even thought about making an apology. Because, I mean, the second he's back, you know that It's I Jazzer is gonna be over here clickbaiting the shit out of it. But I don't know, man. I mean, regardless of the reason that Call Me Carson has left, I doubt he's gonna come back anytime soon, if ever. Like, it's kinda hard to come back from something when everybody shames you for what you did. And you know, I'd probably do the same 
same thing. If everybody on the internet shamed me for doing this one thing, then I would probably leave the internet as well. But I mean, after the fact, I feel like this guy got way too much hate and it was kind of uncalled for. But yeah, this is probably going to be my last video on Call Me Carson just because I don't want to give you guys the illusion that I'm trying to milk the situation. Like, it's just not right to do in this kind of situation. But unless he like comes back and makes an apology, then I'm probably just going to call it quits on this situation. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and say that I appreciate the tremendous amount of support that I've gotten recently. This channel really wouldn't be a thing without you guys. But yeah, if you made it through the entire video, then you should go ahead and join my Discord server and the Commentary Club Discord server, which I co-own with Toxin and Sid. Both of those will be in the description down below. And yeah, just make sure you follow all of my other socials to keep up with me. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching today. I'll catch you all later. Peace. <laughs> You was a clown talking down, looking stupid. Being with the rounds in the town, we be shooting. I turn around, I'm sitting down like I'm Cupid. Shooting, deep and out town, I'm not hoping. Anything I'm better than the best is unacceptable. Stacking up my chatter, get it, just my money flexible. My job really wet, when it wouldn't be a spectacle. I feel like I'm better at my destiny at a festival. I'm on the top of it, talking a lot, and the drama, drama, popping a bottle. I'm popping a talk, keep it running, running, diving, I'm diving, no cop, and the frost should be number one. I'm popping, and obviously stopping, I'm coughing another one. It's keeping the top of stopping, but you're just watering, tripping, it's off a mission, not impossible. Big deposit, baby,